Hello everyone, today we are reviewing the Comica VM20 Professional Shotgun or Cardio Microphone. This is being sold on Amazon for $120, but when I got it sent to me it was $150, so it has gone down in price. The case comes with a charger cable, it is USB-C, and an output cable which is already plugged into the camera because we're using it to power this Comica wireless mic system as well to record the audio for this video. It also comes with a wind muff and the shock mount that you use to attach it to the top of your camera and or camcorder. It does have a gain knob at the bottom so you can adjust the gain level to make it louder or softer depending on your environment. It does have a wind cut filter and a high low cut filter, 75 and 150. And the screen does indicate how much charge the battery has. Now we're going to try and get to a test of it and see how it sounds indoors with somewhat high ceiling. See if it captures any echo or reverb. Let's go to the test. Hi everyone. We're doing the test of the VM20 Professional Cardioid Comica Microphone. It is now plugged into the Canon EOS R. It is about two arms lengths away from me and the mic is directly aimed at me. The gain knob is set to four. The battery is at 50% charged because I haven't charged it in a while because I haven't used it in a month or two. But it has the wind muff on as well because our air and heat sometimes kicks on and I want to make sure none of that blows into the mic and ruins the audio quality of this test. Our ceilings are kind of high but not as high as some houses. It's about two lengths of me. I'm 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, so if there were two of me standing on each other's shoulders, I'd be at the top of the ceiling. So it is kind of a little bit high and there is a little bit of an echo when I talk at a normal voice like I am doing right now. And now I'm going to whisper. I'm going to say, hey, little buddy, it's time to tuck you in. This is ASMR Ross, because I used to do that stuff to see if it picks up my voice super clearly. Uh, one thing I do want to say, my experience with using this mic is it's always better than the built-in camera. And um, the built-in camera mics tend to be really crap. They're getting a little bit better, but they pick up a lot of noise because they have AGC. This mic doesn't have AGC, and the AGC mode on the Canon EOS R is turned off, so it's not going to bump the audio up. When I whisper, AGC will bump the audio up to make it sound like when I whisper, when it doesn't sound like that at all. So the AGC mode is turned off, and this is the test of the VM20. Let's do a playback. If it sounds like crap, it's probably because I don't have the settings properly set to accommodate our somewhat high ceilings. After reviewing about 8 seconds of video, I noticed it sounded like the built-in camera mic with a little less noise, not so much... It's built-in camera mics, but there was some echo, so I need to do a better test where I get closer and closer to the microphone, and now I'm going cross-eyed, and I'm so close that I could almost eat this dang thing. And this is how it's supposed to sound when you have it dialed in to your environment, and the settings on your camera are dialed in as well to your environment. And now the mic is about right up there, and now I'm right here on the mic, and now I'm away from the mic, and now I'm in on the mic and now I'm away from the mic, and now I'm in on the mic, and now I'm away from it. Do you hear the difference? I do. I can't even hear how the audio sounds until after she hits the record button again. I really like the Comica shotgun microphone, and I would recommend it to anyone looking for a somewhat professional microphone to use on their DSLR or their GoPro or their phone camera or tablet, whatever you use to record videos on. Thank you for watching the review. Please like, share, and comment.